morning, everyone, and glad that you're taking time just to, to check in with us this morning. And, um, you know, this morning I got my hot chocolate, and uh, I know we've all been enjoying the weather. I hope that you've gotten outside a little bit this week already, and that um, that you'll, you know, we're out of that uh, winter blues and enjoying the sunshine, <clears throat> something that we all could really use right now. Um, I want to just touch on something real quick this morning. I know that many of you probably... Uh, obviously, everybody knows the news with what's happened in Nova Scotia this week, and uh, boy, it's it's so heartbreaking. Um, mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, um, losing their life uh, at this time, and it's so difficult. You know, I think we need to be remember as a church, as a, as followers of Jesus Christ, as as disciples, that we need to be caring and, and praying for people. Um, but it's also good to know. That God loves us and that He's concerned about us during these difficult times as well. In uh, Psalm 147, verse 3, we read this it says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. You know, it's so important for us to realize, even in these difficult times when our hearts are broken and um, there's so much going on in our lives, uh, you know, it's, it's difficult right now. And uh, these kind of things just bring to light and just sort of bring to the forefront how difficult uh, it is right now. Uh, I know that that uh, um, th- you're you're str- struggling probably just as much as I am. I there's days that I feel like I'm just overwhelmed. I feel like there there's just so much going on. But then I come to a passage of scripture like this one in 100, Psalm 147, where I'm reminded that God is there for us. That he's there to, to heal us. He's there to to break our, 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 mend our broken hearts. He he's just uh, loves us so much that he do, doesn't desire for any of us to go about our days and struggle like that. Um, we don't need to be in fear. We don't need to to live in anxiety. We don't need to have our hearts so heavy right now uh, and do it uh, and uh, be all alone. For our Lord, our Savior is here with us for for. Uh, for all these different different times that we're struggling with. Um, I, I hope that you and I can pray together. I hope that you'll be praying for these families that have lost these loved ones, um, the community that uh, is struggling right now. I don't imagine there's many that have, have uh, not been touched by this in, in that Nova, Nova Scotia area. So what can I tell you? I can tell you that God loves us. I can tell you that he's here for us. They desires to heal us, desires to, to be here, be here through these difficult times. Um, maybe you're struggling right now, and uh, you've been trying and to just make it through the day, and it's not easy. Uh, but remember, the Lord is here with us. He's here to guide us. He's here to 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 give us the strength that we need. He sent His Holy Spirit to be a comforter and to and to empower us. And I pray this week. You'll not forget that. May God truly bless you. And I pray that this week will be um, a week that uh, you know the love of the Father. And I, and, uh, and I hope that you you um, get out at least a little bit to enjoy the week. Now, one other thing, too, is, uh, is coming up is that uh, if we come out of quarantine, and when we do, and when we get self, from all this self-isolation, um, we need to find ways to, to make... Uh, uh, masks, and uh, they may require us to do that even for church. So if you know uh, or see masks, or if you if you are able to make masks, I want to encourage you to to maybe consider that and think about that as we prepare as we come out of this time. Um, maybe to, for to be able to provide those for us at the church so that we can come together and to worship together. It may look strange with all of us wearing masks, but if we can get together, I think it will be a blessing from God. So be, be thinking about that, and if you see masks and you want to donate some for to the church, I want to encourage you to do that this uh, over this next little while, and uh, pray that you have a great week. Uh, may God bless you.